when you hear <laughs> I hope y'all ready for a fast ride. Cause that's what we call for the night. So sit back, buckle up, shout racing and stuff tonight. Listen. Welcome to the most amazing and mind-blowing variety show in the solar system, the galaxy, and the universe, the, the Chicken show. show! So, come on, let's get started. I'm Brittany, and I'm Tata. Our show invites all kinds of famous people, and we are the host for tonight. Fortunately, three very special guests have spared their time to share their thoughts with us. And to make it more interesting, we are going to give you a hint of our special celebrity. Our third guest, the hottest female rapper of all time, Nicki Minaj! Nicki Minaj! You're a wizard. What? Who said that? Lewis Hagrid from Harry Potter, which was written by J.K. Rowling. Who will be our second guest? Yes, of course. And behold, Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire, who will be with us right now. Let's welcome Katniss Everdeen. Good afternoon, Katniss Everdeen. Oh, I mean Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, we are very excited for your upcoming movie, Jennifer. Mocky J Part 1. Coming soon on November 20th. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing my performance too. And oh, in case our audience don't know what it's all about, could you tell me a brief summary? Of course, well, the city called Panem was governed by the capital. But there are 12 districts. In each year, each of the districts needs to send two tributes to participate in the annual Hunger Games. One boy, one girl. The rule is simple. You need to kill each other until there's only one picture left. Mm. And in this current movie, Katniss is building up a rebellion against the capital. Oh, that's interesting. But how come you got to be the role of Katniss Everdeen? I've never heard you wanted to be an actress. Well, while something was coming to my home, a stranger asked to take my picture. They called me the next day. Gosh, you're just like... So lucky, and you're just like an amazing woman. You just got the Oscar Award for the best actress when you were only 23. How did you do that? Where did you get that inspiration from? I was determined to be an actress when I was only 14. When I was determined, I'm sure that I won't fail. And I love playing Katniss since she was hard to get for me. Oh, that's really interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Let's start with a more serious but inspirational interview. Let me tell you next guest's background. This person is a famous author of the most popular book of all time. Here it is. She started from failure. She had no husband. She had no money. She had no nothing. The spark lightened while she was baking on a clock in a small cafe, where she introduced a new unique boy with a lightning scar on his forehead. The boy that will be admired by tons of people around the world. Let's welcome J.K. Rowling! Woo! Should I call you JK? Is that like an abbreviation? Hi, my name is Joan Rowling. K is come from Kathleen's and that's my friend's money since so I don't have any money. Oh, nice Joanne. Um, I just wanted to ask you that although the series ended a long time ago, it hasn't left our minds. What inspired you to create such a book? Oh, a mango! <laughs> when my boyfriend and I were coming back to London from Manchester, 
We were on our count of trains at King Cross Station as usual when the silly ideas of Harry Potter bubbled into my head. I simply sat down and thought about that scrawny, black-haired, bespectacled boy, mm. Harry Potter. Very interesting, but do all your parents support you to write your own novel? Mm, unfortunately, no. They wanted me to learn something more functional, but I decided to study English literature instead at Exeter University. So it's sad then, but no regrets then. Look at your success. Could you give us some updates about your new projects then? My latest book is Boosting for Me, Passion for Curiosity, and it's something more girl. Sounds cool, but our time's almost up. Do you have any last advice? Remember, I'm someone who passed. It was a team and failure is in my life. It's impossible to live without failing and I agree. Unless you live so cautiously, you might as well not live at all. In which case, you fail by the default. Mm. That's such an interesting advice, Joanne. But unfortunately, our time is over. Well, we'll hope you see, we'll see you again. Bye. Bye. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. Boy, sweet me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Nicki Minaj. Hello, Nicki. I don't think I ever said I wanted to be famous. I just liked plays and wanted to be an actress at first. And about the awards, I don't know how to answer that. Nikki, who inspired you to become an actor? Marilyn Monroe and Britney Spears, I think. And also school plays. Mm. What about your singing and rapping style? Who inspired those? Madonna and Foxy Brown. Just mm. Oh hey, let's talk about who you're dating. Yeah, I've seen photos of your wedding ring, but you're not wearing it now. So what happened? Who is it? Who did you kiss under the Lorcatron moon? Well, I guess answer whichever you want, please. Oh, um, I don't think I wanted to talk about that, and I'm not married yet. So you have anyone right now? No. If you kiss anyone? Mmm! What about this photo? Is she the person who kissed under the locker tone moon? Oh, that's not a she, that's a he! I beg your pardon. So, when the water, ding, bling. He has to be a really strong guy to be with you, right? Since, like, seriously, like, uh huh. Why don't we talk about something better about me? Like, I once said, to lose, to lose refuse to be defeated, and if you used to help regret. Wow, you're so cool! Your music videos even reach more than 100 millions on both of them! Mmm! Oh, but our time's almost up. Oh. So, we'll love to see you guys. Again, tomorrow evening, 9 a.m. on the 5th channel. Thank you very much! See you later, ladies and gentlemen!